you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back. Or if it's your first time to our channel, then welcome. You have landed upon the perfect video where we are showcasing our top five vegan dinner recipes that are loaded with nutrition. All of the protein, healthy fats, healthy carbs, iron, other beneficial nutrients, all packed into one pot, simple stews, curries, and soups. You can make large portions of these to enjoy for not just one, but hopefully one, two, or three nights in a row so you're not having to slave away in the kitchen every single night. These are also very freezer friendly. If you're like me and you're pregnant, I am now 39 weeks pregnant. Freezer meals are always super handy when you have a new baby in your life. So these recipes would come in very handy because they're also very nourishing. Another way we like to enjoy these meals is we will cook this large meal before we leave for a trip and we'll eat it that night night, we'll freeze the other half so when we come back from vacation, we can grab it out of the freezer, warm it on the stove top. We don't have to worry about cooking when we are drained after a long day of travel. For these five favorite recipes, we're taking you around the world, so to speak. We have an Indian inspired dish, a Thai curry, a Mexican chili, We've got an Asian fried rice and we have an Italian pasta. So you can find all of these recipes on our channel, but you can also find them in our Eat Move Rest meal planner and recipe app, which is included in our yearly membership. So you can get this membership at 75% off. You're also getting access to our private Facebook community, our entire ebook collection, monthly wellness challenges, and weekly Zoom calls. So be sure to jump on it. It's all linked below. Recipe number one, is our Indian slow cooker curry. In this recipe, we say to start with about 12 ounces of water, two cups of red lentils, one large diced onion, two minced garlic cloves, two cubed sweet potatoes, one large head of cauliflower, one and a half cups of chickpeas, one cup of peas, two tablespoons red curry paste, one tablespoon minced ginger, 28 ounces of tomato puree, one teaspoon of turmeric, a half teaspoon of coriander, a half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of cayenne, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom, and salt and pepper to taste. This is a recipe that we also like to add coconut cream drizzled on top to for our healthy fat. And I will say, I think the thing that really brings this dish to life is the red lentil base. It really helps to thicken it and it adds a generous amount of protein and iron, which are super important, especially like I said, if you are pregnant, postpartum, and for children's sake as well. Speaking of getting what you need, I should also mention and address a question that we get constantly on our channel and within our membership is how do I get everything I need or how do I know my bases are covered on a plant-based diet? Well, what Erin and I do just to be extra sure that we're getting our bases covered is to take compliment. This is not a supplement, but rather a compliment for your already well-rounded plant-based diet. We've been taking compliment essential for years now and we love that it gives you just what you need and nothing more. So gone are the days of over supplementing, having neon green pee because I'm taking so much. Compliment has everything in one. So EPA, DHA, vitamin D, K2, iodine. Like seriously, you guys, I love that it's all in one capsule and it's super easy. Besides having amazing products, we love the team over at Compliment. We love that they're a B Corp. The packaging is compostable. I'm not gonna recommend, I'm gonna say go out and get yourself some Compliment today to make sure you have your bases covered. You can use our code to save. Everything will be linked below. All right, you guys, when it comes to getting what you need and doing it simply, this one is one of my favorites. This is our Asian tofu veggie fried rice. This one again is super simple, super affordable, and you get such a variety of vegetables. I like to start by adding just a little bit of water to a hot pan with about four or five tablespoons of tamari or your choice of soy sauce. Then I add two teaspoons of onion powder and start sauteing my veggies. I saute four cloves of garlic, 
one yellow onion. Then I grate in about a thumb sized piece of ginger. I chop one cup of mushrooms and add those to the saute. I peel and chop four carrots, add in one head of broccoli, one cup of green peas, half cup of shredded red cabbage, three radishes, one teaspoon of turmeric, and then I add my tofu. You can do the tofu in little chunks or just crumble it up almost like a scrambled egg would be in traditional fried rice. While all my veggies are sauteing, I'll put the lid on my pot and I'll rinse and boil up two cups of brown rice. When the rice is done, I add everything together and then I like to top this dish with some cubed avocado for some healthy fat. You can always add more soy sauce or some liquid aminos if you want something a little bit sweeter. This one is delicious and the kids love it too. So now we are heading over to Thailand for a Thai inspired coconut quinoa yellow curry. So I don't care where we go out to dinner, if they have yellow curry on the menu, I am gonna order it. So needless to say, we figured out how to make our own healthified version at home. It is so delicious. This is one that I've told Dusty time and time again. I think this is what I want immediately after giving birth. This is like my victory meal. <laughs> Similar to the Indian red lentil curry, you're going to start by sauteing one yellow onion and three to four cloves of garlic in a splash of water on medium heat. And then when they are translucent and cooked, you'll add three to four cups of either water or vegetable broth, one teaspoon coriander, one teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon curry powder, one teaspoon cilantro, two tablespoons of yellow curry paste. And then you'll add in one and a half cups of rinsed dry quinoa. You'll add in two cups of your vegetable broth along with your sweet potatoes, one and a half cups of frozen peas, four to five chopped carrots. Once your veggie curry is nice and and cooked and the veggies are tender, you can remove it from the heat and then add in about a half cup of light coconut milk. We always set aside extra to drizzle on top of the kids' dishes. It is a very mild spiced curry, but if you want extra heat, add some crushed red pepper flakes. If you want to make this a truly authentic Thai-inspired curry, you can add jasmine rice instead of quinoa to the base of this dish. Moving on to my favorite recipe and most of our guests favorite recipe. We make this every time someone comes to town or if we're having some sort of dinner party. This is our creamy penne pasta. So for this, I prefer a brown rice noodle. If you're looking for more protein and iron, we recommend a red lentil or chickpea noodle. So to start this dish, I start by sauteing one sweet yellow onion, four cloves of garlic, and adding in two cans of diced tomatoes. On top of that, I usually throw about a teaspoon of tomato paste. I let this saute for just a few minutes before adding in a few optional veggies. So these veggies aren't in the recipe on the app, but I've started throwing them in to sneak them in for the kids. So occasionally I'll throw in some diced mushrooms, some zucchini squash, anything you want really can go in and it's such a thick creamy pasta, the kids usually don't even notice. From there, I add two cups of vegetable broth and I pour my noodles in, let these cook down and then remove the pasta from the heat before adding two cups of soy milk. If you add the soy milk when it's too hot, the soy milk will curdle. I will say that we usually make a double batch of this recipe. So two boxes of pasta, four cups of broth, and four cups of soy milk because we usually are feeding a crowd with this one. It is so delicious. Last but not least, recipe number five is our best chili ever. We could not come up with a better name for this recipe because it is simply the best. It contains all of your traditional chili components and then some. This recipe is also high up on my list as far as nourishing postpartum meals go. If you are not a bean lover, this recipe will revolutionize the way that you look at beans. We love it so much. In fact, beans are one of the longevity foods that you will see across all of the five blue zones of the world where people are living the measurably longest. Think 100 plus years old, they're all eating a variety of beans. For this recipe, you will need three medium fresh diced tomatoes, one can of diced tomatoes, one medium red onion diced, 
three stalks of sliced celery, three cloves of garlic minced, two teaspoons of cumin, four teaspoons of dried oregano, one teaspoon paprika, one tablespoon of chili powder, and salt and pepper to taste. After it's cooked up, you're going to blend half of the sauce and add it back to the pot. You'll then add two cups of water to your pot and your remaining chopped ingredients, which include three medium cubed sweet potatoes, one red, yellow, or orange bell pepper diced, one cup of drained and rinsed green lentils, two to three cans of beans of your choice. We typically like to add a can of chickpeas and a can of kidney beans or black beans. Feel free to get creative. You can do as many varieties as you want, really. If we use dry beans, which we are doing more and more these days, I will drain and rinse and soak them overnight or for at least eight hours, then add them to an instant pot or pressure cooker. You'll also wanna add in about a cup of frozen frozen thawed sweet corn. Allow all of this to cook on medium heat or for about 20 minutes, especially checking on those sweet potatoes and green lentils to make sure they are tender. When we plate this one up, usually we'll add some diced avocado on top for healthy fats, as well as a dusting of nutritional yeast, which adds those B vitamins, protein, and more iron. Also for this recipe in particular, but all of these recipes, we love to add in some fresh greens to kind of wilt and steam on top. Typically we will do this with curly kale that I will de-stem and tear into small pieces and then drop it on top and mix it in and you will get that nice deep dark green color without overcooking it. So like I said, these are our top five vegan dinners of all time. You can find them in our meal planner and in our ebook that are both included in our yearly membership, which you can get access to at 75% off for life. Click it below in the description. There are so many other perks you can view as well. Also be sure to check out Compliment and grab that discount code linked below as well. Wish us luck. Maybe next week you will see us with a new baby, a new family member. Until next time, eat, move, rest, and nest your best. Bye guys.